All right, y'all, welcome back in. I appreciate y'all coming back in for another review, man. We got the Godox X Pro 2, man. It's a, a TTL trigger, and I'm super excited to review it for you guys. Um, Going through shooting with it. I just shot with it yesterday. I got it about a week and a half ago, and uh, I've been waiting to get something <laughs> that I actually wanted to review, and this is an item that I've been looking forward to trying to get. I didn't... I uh, want to jump the gun and uh, be patient with it, and it just fell in my lap, you know what I mean? So let's get into the unboxing, and then we'll go over some of the features that it has. So it comes in this simple little box. It's all tucked away pretty nice and clean. Um, it comes with a manual, quick start guide, um, some accessories for, say, like a speed light. Uh, a cloth wipe for your LCD screen. And that's pretty much about it. It takes two AA batteries, um, standard AA batteries or rechargeable. Um, the LCD is backlit along with the buttons. The text is actually on the button and uh, the light comes through the button. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's uh, get into some of the features that I have found out about this joint. Those are the accessories for the uh, speed light, wipe, manual. Just trying to be a little bit quicker with this thing. So let's get into the features. Um, the trigger is supposed to be able to fire from 328 feet away, 100 meters away, with stable communication, 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. Um, like I said, it's TTL flash, so it has that capability. It has high speed sync, a dedicated high speed sync button. Um, it has built in Bluetooth module and a USB C module so you can update the firmware. Uh, let's see what else. Modeling lamp control, uh, flash exposure lock. Let's see. It depending on what your light can handle, uh, it goes as low of power as 512. So that's pretty cool. Most triggers that I've seen have only gone to 256. So for this to go to two, uh, 512, if your if your flash goes that low, um, it's pretty dope. Another thing I thought was really cool was this this uh, new release button they have on it. That's the, you, you know your, most of your gadgets and gadgets have a, like basically a threaded type screw, plastic screw to, to secure your device on top of your camera, on top of your flashes and stuff like that. Godox has this quick release lever, which is pretty cool. And uh, it makes it a lot simpler to take it on and off your camera. Um, another feature that I read about, I hadn't used it myself, and I don't know if it's even new technology or whatnot, but it's something called TCM function, which is a TTL convert to manual function where you can take a picture in TTL mode and then switch it over to TCM and then the, the flash will stay at the last power output of the TTL. And uh, I'm, I'm going to look into that a little bit more and play with it a little bit more and see how it actually works because that, that's something I, I think I could benefit from that if you... Say just a scenario. Say you're at a party, at a wedding, whatever, and you're shooting the dance floor from left to right. And you know for the next hour or 30 minutes, you're going to be shooting this party from that position. You're not going to be moving around much. You might go up and down the floor, but you're going to be shooting in the same general direction. Hit that TCL and then do the TCM function. And then you're pretty much straight. You can just focus on catching the action. And I think that's dope. That's something I, uh, really cool that you can control straight from the trigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The technology is there, so I'm not taking advantage of it. But, uh, and then right here you can see the, probably can't see it too well, but, uh, that, uh, re that release lock on the trigger is pretty dope. And, um, uh, let's get into some of me shooting it in the wild. All right, so this is a shootout event that was held down in St. Augustine, Florida. 
at a studio I'd never been to, and I hadn't been to a shootout in a while, so I was itching to go to one, and I just happened to find one on the internet the week prior. And uh, this one was real cool, man. Are you doing this 360 degree thing? No, it's just a tiny camera. <laughs> she was funny. Yeah, and it's got a little old lady. She was really funny. All right, here's some of the output from me shooting with the young lady. Um, appreciate y'all again coming in and sticking with me for these reviews, man. It means a lot to me. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. Take it easy, man. We gone.